Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing my 10th vlog. Now if you're new here, Christina, sub and ring the bell. So this is the vlog that I've wanted to do for so long, and I think I'm finally going to be able to do it, because I've actually filmed this multiple times, like almost three times, and I haven't really decided what I wanted to do for this vlog, because the last vlog I did was six months ago, and the reason for that being is I don't have a job, so... It's been very hard to find stuff to do without spending a whole lot of money for it. So, just a couple things I wanted to do today. And I actually am going to be doing a room tour for the start of this vlog. And I'm going to be going out. Because I, you guys have noticed that I actually have changed my setup of the videos when I'm like sitting down and stuff. I guess I mentioned it in uh, other videos where I'm going to be leaving my setup when I'm in my old room and then I'm in this room now. So yeah, here's a little bit of a room tour. So this is the new room. I really like it. Now I know I did a room tour back in like, I think a couple months ago, but honestly a lot of stuff has changed. And I mentioned it in a couple other videos that I will be filming in here from now on. And I'm glad because like that room served me well, the old setup, but I'm kind of ready for something new. But uh, even since a couple months ago, a lot of stuff has changed. So if you look over here, there's finally a table now. Because uh, when I first moved in here, actually not, it was up until recently, uh, this was not here. And I would, was really wanting a table. Yeah, so I have a table now. And uh, this setup is not like completely permanent. There's still some stuff I want to change. But yeah, so this is a new table that we got and then we brought in here and i really like it it's like the perfect size this is the light that i actually got recently or actually my parents got me recently for christmas and this light is awesome because like i mean it's probably not supposed to hook on like this but i'm just like whatever but uh yeah so this light has a lot of good light for my videos because it's a big difference on the lighting department so but the only thing is is that one of the things that's kind of annoying about this room is that everywhere that there's a power outlet, it's annoying because, I mean, right here kind of makes sense where I have the TV, but there's no power outlet over here on the side at all. And there's one behind the bed. It's just like every possible like power outlet that's there is not in a good place. So I hope that maybe in the next few weeks we can get some power outlets installed because I really don't want to have you use an extension cord like this to uh, like extend the core because that's a tripping hazard. The way I put this light on normally is I have a uh, USB, it's powered via, via USB. And uh, what I used to do up until today is I used to have it plugged into this computer. Here's the problem. I have, my newest MacBook does not support the USB-A uh, format. So uh, I usually bring this adapter with me to like convert uh, this uh, USB type into USB-C. I didn't bring it and I forgot. So uh, I don't have any lighting here right now. And I mean, I could maybe like, like extend that power cable like all the way to that power outlet and then do it but this is too much work but yeah so i don't have any lighting right now because i forgot the power or the converter well that's okay yeah so that's my lighting for now i think it works because like my lighting has gotten a lot better in my videos and then over here this is probably one of the more recent additions uh so i brought my original xbox and it's kind of weird because like I didn't know which consoles to bring here because I have so many. I don't want to bring every single one of them because they just would feel cramped by that TV. I have the original Xbox here and I don't know where I'm, I'm going to put my consoles because like yeah I just have too many. Honestly I've considered getting rid of some of my consoles like the Sega Genesis that barely works. But yeah, so I have the original Xbox, and then I have this shelf that was over here. But uh, this shelf, uh, I really, even though the design of it, I don't really care for that much. It works. I have my NES games, and I don't have all my physical games here yet. But uh, I will be bringing all of them if I can. 
And then there's Teddy Ruxpin. That's kind of like a flashback to when I got him in the vlog eight. Yeah, vlog eight. Honestly, I'm sad that it doesn't work, but I'm glad I have one at all. Now, so I know some people think he's creepy, like the nostalgia critic and stuff, but I like him. So I just bring like my most like meaningful like stuff here. And I am a Brer Rabbit plush because that's literally worth like $300 on eBay now. But yeah, if you look over here, uh, actually the closet, uh, this closet is the same as basically, but uh, I do have my green screen. I brought it from my other from the other house and I don't know what I'm gonna do with this because there's not really any room in here to hook it up. So if I do like a green screen video or something like that, it probably will be in here. But the thing is the way to hook it up is or that I do it is with thumbtacks but the sad thing is is that this is hard wall so it won't go through but I'll figure something out but yeah that closet I barely used at all so <laughs> and then this is the newest actually this might be the newest addition is this tv I finally found a place for it and someone found this wood table and I think it's perfect because the table is not too big and it's not like invasive but uh, I put my TV here, and I just, I just hate moving this TV. Even though I really love this TV, it is so terrible to move. Like, I hate it. But anyway, uh, I moved it, and looks looks good, and it works great. Um, I have my NES plugged in there. Because previously, I just had the TV on the ground, and I would just play NES on the ground. And this bed has moved too. It was originally over here, but we moved it this way, which I think it worked better. We also have this uh, drawer that I used to put my CRT on top of this in my, my old, like, like my older videos of like 2022. But I don't do that anymore because I just, is a very unsafe. And then CRT fell on me one time when I was like fixing this. But uh, yeah, and then as you guys have noticed, this window has changed finally. Like, I, I hated the old window, but this is a lot more light. And uh, and then here is, this is something I, p I had recently. I noticed that the wall was a little bit boring when I first started recording in the setup and you just see white wall. But I'm starting to decorate it a little bit more with uh, the Splash Mountain poster and stuff. So yeah. So that was the new room tour. And I think I'm going to go to the Bed Bath & Beyond closing sale because uh, it's weird because like, Bed Bath & Beyond, like, I'm not very familiar with it. Like, when they announced that they would be closing all of their stores because they filed for bankruptcy, I was really not that shocked because I've only been in there, like, once or twice. And it's not something that is, like, sad. I mean, I'm sad for people who have lost or they're going to be losing their jobs. But it's not as sad for me as, like, Toys R Us was back in 2018. Like, when Toys R Us filed for bankruptcy and they closed other stores, it was very sad because it was kind of like a piece of childhood was dying with me. So uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna maybe go ahead and head over there. And I actually might eat somewhere too because like I just, like I'm really hungry and I haven't eaten anything. Like probably, I haven't eaten any breakfast. But yeah, I'm actually gonna probably head over there. And I don't even know if their liquidation sale has started yet because I went there almost a week ago and they didn't have any signs up. So I'm not sure if that's gonna be the case, but yeah. So here's the Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, it's kind of hard to tell that it was closing. Maybe I did miss it, but you have to like really look. It's like red signs like all, yeah, it's like all the way down there. So yeah, I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, actually go ahead in there. Um, I'm not sure if we're gonna have anything that's good. I mean, I haven't been in one in many years, but yeah.
August. I just left Bed Bath and Beyond, and yeah, I could see why it's closing. Um, like the prices weren't really that impressive, and it's kind of sad because like I could see on the workers' faces that they were just sad about everything that they are going to be losing their job. And it makes sense because like, especially for a company that you worked for for probably a while, file for bankruptcy. And then you got, you lose your job. But I can see why they're sad because like they've worked there for a while. So uh, I was there and it was just like, it's kind of weird because I was surprised on how much stuff was already gone, even though the liquidation sale just started. Like there was some stuff that was like, there was nothing there anymore. Like there were some shelves that were bare already. So, I mean, the only thing I was really interested in maybe getting was some storage, like storage, like, baskets or something like that for like my controllers and stuff like that but honestly like other than that like i just yeah i could see why they're closing because like they just like bed bath beyond i've heard was struggling for a while and it's weird because like i'm not really sad about this i mean i'm sad for the people who uh, who are losing their jobs but i'm not really sad that the company is closing like it's not something like toys R us or something like that to where i was just like really sad about it but Bed Bath & Beyond, like, yeah, it's probably, like, it's probably, like, not, like, that surprising that they'll be closing. But I just, the thing that makes me feel sad, though, in some ways, is the people who are going to be losing their jobs. And uh, I feel bad for them. But, yeah, so it was just kind of, I haven't really seen anything like those, like, uh, signs, the store closing signs since when Toys R Us closed in 2018. Because I remember me and my mom would go to the liquidation sale and Toys R Us every week. And, uh, like, it just got more and more empty. And, of course, that's what's going to happen to this, too. And I feel like it might happen a little bit faster than Toys R Us. Actually, maybe not. Because Toys R Us was, like, more, like, towards, like, uh, the kid demographic. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, Bed Bath Beyond. Yeah, I could see why it's closing. Like, I just feel like they couldn't really keep up with the times. And it's kind of weird because I'm in this, like, Primrose, like, marketplace, like, shopping plaza. And there's still some stores that are doing really well, like, uh, TJ Maxx, for example. Like, TJ Maxx is doing pretty good still. And Ross is, too. And Ross is actually right next to Bed Bath & Beyond. So, it's just sad that the retail, like, most of the retail stores are going to be closing. Uh, and I heard that Barnes & Noble might not survive much longer, which is... Kind of surprising me because I feel like there's some people who still prefer physical books. I do. But, uh, I mean, I haven't read, a, like, a long novel in a long time. The retail space, like, especially since there's a recession that might happen, too, it just doesn't look good for a lot of these businesses. But I heard TJ Maxx is doing pretty well still. There might be actually a video that I might do where, like, I might go to, like, uh... Or, like, maybe talk about, like, different companies that have closed or, like, are closing. I might do that, actually. But, yeah, um, I actually might go ahead and get some food. Uh, I actually might try Golden Corral. Now, Golden Corral, I haven't tried even, like, I think the last time I tried it was before the pandemic. And I don't know how things are have changed now with Golden Corral with uh, the pandemic happening. But there's a Golden Corral right next to here. And my mom and dad avoid it like the plague. They almost never take us there. So since I'm an adult now and I can drive myself anywhere, I was like, okay, maybe I could give me, maybe give, give this a chance. But yeah, I'm actually going to go ahead and go to Golden Corral. And I'm actually going to go right now because it gets really, really packed sometimes. So yeah. All right, guys. So I just arrived at Golden Corral. And this is going to be kind of weird because like I said earlier, I haven't been there here in a long time because uh, my parents... Even before the pa pandemic, they avoided this place like the plague. So I'm going to go ahead and head in. And I don't know how much it's going to be because, like, I feel like everything has just gotten so expensive now. So, yeah. So I got a decent amount of stuff. I got uh, this deformed cheeseburger. Uh, so, yeah, it's a kind of a mess. But, uh, I, they had a lot more options than I thought they would do. But... Yeah, so, uh, I'm actually gonna go ahead and eat, um, yeah, i really hungry, I haven't had a buffet in a while, so yeah. Okay, so, I just ate at Golden Corral, and it was horrible, like, ugh, it was not good. 
Now, to be fair, like, I feel like I've had this experience before at Golden Corral. Like, I remember one time, I think this is what was at this Golden Corral, where I ate there and then I got really sick. So hopefully, uh, fingers crossed, it doesn't happen again. But yeah, so that was terrible. It was just was, was like, and it was $15 too, which is it's not worth $15. Like, you could get so many other better food options around here for $15. It, it just was, dis it, I wouldn't say it was disgusting, but it was just very mediocre. Like, the worst one was the pizza. The pizza literally felt like cafeteria food pizza if it was sitting out all day. Like, oh, God. I mean, I feel, I just feel like I've had this experience before, and I should have known. That was terrible. Like, oh, that, that was just like... I think the best thing was, was like the soft serve ice cream, but even then it wasn't that great in terms of soft serve ice cream standards. But yeah, I'm never going here again. Like it's just, it just, it's very, I feel like it was worse than when I had it last time. So yeah, that's kind of crazy. Yeah. So I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I know it's a little bit of a shorter vlog compared to my other vlogs I've done, but I finally have made vlog 10 and I hope you guys like it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.